Hi everyone, I am Akshay and welcome to my channel Gacha Gaming. So the version 5.0 released a new some sort of a mechanism known as capturing radius for the vision system. And many a people are confused regarding how does this work and uh, what are the you can say math behind this. So in this video, I will be trying to simplify capturing radius as much as I can so you can easily understand what it actually is. So before that, let's just go through the basic pretty system of Genshin's character banners or known as the event wish banners. So there are two basic pity systems, one is known as soft pity or one is known as hard pity. Soft pity occurs between when you have done wishes from 70 to 80. Between these wishes from 70 to 80, there is a high chance to trigger a 5 star character. And uh, what will happen on triggering the 5 star character, it depends on your last banner situation or if it is your first banner. So if it is your first time triggering a 5 star character, you will be on a 50-50. I will explain what 50-50 is later. But if you have not gotten the character from the last banner, I mean you pulled for that character but you got another one, that is known as a 50-50 loss. And if that happened to you in the last banner, this time when you trigger a 5 star character, it will be the confirmed 5 star character from that pity banner. Let's just take an example in version 4.6, let's say Arlichino's banner came and you wish and you pulled for her. But you lost your 50-50 to let's say Chi Chi. And the next time you will pull on let's say the current banner of Emily and uh, this time if you trigger a 5 star character, it will be confirmed that you will get Emily. So that's the confirmed scenario after losing a 50-50 of Genshin banner pity. But if you have won the last character or it is either your first wish or your first 5 star character, so you will be on a 50-50 scenario, meaning that there is a 50% chance that you will build the current character or there is a 50% chance that you will lose the current character and might get a character from the standard wish. The character from the standard wish are Jean, Dialogue, Chi Chi, Kitchen and some others as well. That's where the capturing radius comes into play. Let's say you lost your 50-50 and uh, after you're losing 50-50, there will be a 10% chance again to reverse that decision and make sure that you get the confirmed character from the banner. So initially the pity that was 50-50, it now nearly becomes up to 55 and 45. So even if you lost your 50-50, there will be 10% chance to trigger capturing radius and to get the current character banner that you are currently on. And also to make sure that even if you lost your 50-50, but upon triggering capturing radius, that character you have gotten will count as a 50-50 bond. So the next time you are going to wish, it is going to be another 50-50. So this will not count as a 50-50 loss scenario even if you trigger capturing radius because you got the character from the banner. Yeah, so that's the basic system about the capturing radius from the Genshin Impact that will be implemented from the version 5.0. And yeah, I also missed, there is a hard pity system that says that if your wishes get up to 90, there will be a confirmed chance to get the 5 star character that you currently own. So that 90 will not be a 50-50, it will be a guaranteed character from the banner you are wishing from. Doesn't matter if it is on a 50-50 or a confirmed scenario, you will get the character from the banner. But that chance is literally comes in one to a million because the increasing rate of uh, chances to get a 5 star will increase so drastically from level 70 to 90 that it is nearly 97 to 98% chances till the PT 89 that you will get a 5 star character. So if you haven't won any character till 89 PT or haven't triggered any 5 star character, you are confirmed to get a 5 star character on your 90 wish. So that was all from the video. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any other doubts regarding the capturing radius or any other new systems that are going to be implemented in the version 5.0 of Genshin. But if you like what you saw, subscribe to the channel, share this video with your Genshin friends and until the next video and the next time, have a great time guys. Bye bye.